Buenos dias, Chef in Cheese. Let's going to start our lesson of maths today. Before we go into our next objective, we are going to correct yesterday's work, okay? So if you get a pen, you can correct it and pick it along with me. Uh, hopefully you have all of them. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, let's go to do it together. Right, let's start with the first one. Zero, take away zero is zero. Zero, take away three. I cannot do that. So I need to borrow one. 10, take away three is seven. And I go to my pounds now. Four, take away nothing is four. Well done. Four pounds and let me do the pound symbol. Four pounds and 70. Right, let's go to my next answer. Zero, take away five. I cannot do that, so I need to borrow from my next column. I haven't got anything, so I will need to borrow from my hundred. And now I can borrow to my ones. 10 take away five is five. Nine take away two is, well done, seven. And four take away nothing is four, well done. So the answer is four pounds, 75. Yeah? Right, let's continue then. Zero take away six. I cannot do that, I borrow from my next one. I haven't got anything, so I need to borrow from my hundreds. Make it into a 10. Now I will need to borrow, so I can have 10 there. 10 take away six. Four, well done. Nine take away six. Three. And four take away nothing is four. So the answer is four pounds and 34. Okay, let's go to my next one. Five pounds take away 34. Zero take away four, I cannot do that. So I need to borrow, I haven't got anything. So I need to borrow from there to my tens. Now I have a 10 that turns into a nine and I Borrow one for my ones. Ten take away four is six. Nine take away three is six. And four take away nothing is absolutely four. Four pounds and sixty-six. And let's go into the last one. We have five pounds take away forty-eight pence. Zero take away eight. I cannot do that, so I'm going to borrow from my next column. I haven't got anything, so I'm going to need to borrow from my hundreds to my tens, and then borrow from my tens to my ones. Ten take away eight. Two. Nine take away four. Five. And four take away nothing. So the answer is four pounds and fifty-two pence. Okay, hopefully you have had all of them. Tick, 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 tick. Right, let's go to see today's lesson. Today we are going to be looking as well as subtraction. All right, we are going to be looking at subtraction and we are going to try to see what happened when I'm not only subtra subtracting pence from an amount of money, I'm also going to be subtracting pounds. So let's go to do this one together. I'm going to explain you this and then after we just do it together, okay, on your book. So this one, let me do it first. So what about if I have five pounds and I'm going to take away now one pound and twenty. 20 are my pens, that's why on my 10 column and my ones, and the one is my pound, so it's underneath my five pounds, okay? So it's the same way of putting it in a column method. Right, let's do it together. <coughs> zero, take away zero, zero. Zero, take away two, I cannot do that, so I need to borrow. 10, 10 take away 2, 8, 
and four, take away one, three. So the answer is three pounds and 80. What do you think? Today lesson, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, isn't it? So easy, look at that, it's the same, but just adding a number, a digit on my hundred column, adding a pound to take away, so it's not a big problem. Let's go to do this one on your book. Let's go to do this one together, okay? Right, let's see. If I have this time, five pounds, take away two pounds fifty. Yeah? Now, this one, you sometimes, that is same as in um, normal addition and subtraction, you do not need always to use column method. And on this one, if you know doubles, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do a column method because you will be able to do it by head. And there are some times with money that different calculations, you can just work it out with your head instead of um, seeing it in a column method like that, okay? So if you know, let's going to say 50, what is the half of 50? 25, so you know that 25 and 25 makes 50. So 500, what is the half of 500? 250, so what's going to be the answer? Let's work it out anyway. So that's just to let you know that not always we need a column method, okay? So once you start to get more used to money, to work with money, you will be able to do it sometimes with your head, okay? Right, zero, take away zero is zero. Zero, take away five. I cannot do it, so I need to borrow one. So my five turns into a four. 10, take away five is five. And four, take away two, two. So the answer, 250 and 250 makes 500. So that's why you know that 25 and 25 makes 50. So you didn't really need a column method there, but it's good to have it on so you can see how to do it. So on the next one, just have a go at doing it in a column method, okay? Right, get ready. On your books. On your books. Let's go into the first one. Five pounds. And you are going to take away three pounds and thirty pence. Again, my pounds underneath my pounds column, hundreds because I have pens that goes on my tens and on my ones. Okay, do it, work it out on your book and then we correct it together. And this one, this one yeah, I'm just going to do it there, nothing. Five pounds and you are going to take away, ooh, four pounds and 15. Okay, have a go. Pause the video and then when you're ready, just play it again so we can mark it together, okay? Go for it. <coughs> right, let's go into uh, correct our work. We start with this one. Zero, take away zero. That's right, zero. Zero, take away three. Oh no, I cannot do that. So I need to borrow one and now that turns into a four. Ten, take away three is... Seven and four take away three. One. So your answer should be one pound and seventy. This one was easier than this one because I had nothing to take away from my one, so I had a, I didn't need to borrow. Yeah. But now we are used to borrowing from my hundreds if I haven't got on my ten, so you should be now okay with it. Right, let's see. Zero take away five. I cannot do it and I cannot get anything from my tens column so I'm going to get it from my hundreds to my tens and from my tens to my ones. Ten take away five. Five. Okay. Nine take away one. 
eight. And four, take away four. Zero. So you have only, you haven't got any pounds, so you only have 85 pence. Right. So that's quite simple, isn't it? So that's going to be your work today. You are going to need to just do um, some exercises when you are going to need to take away pounds and pence from five pounds, okay? Have a go at it. I'm so glad you will do it okay. And let me know if you need any help. Adiós.